time. We're gonna do the facial mask I got from Mullen and Sparrow, which came in my boxy charm for February. And it's a powder mix, and it comes in this really cute apothecary jar. I'm just gonna tap a little bit out to a little clear jar drawer bowl here. Let's see. I'm not sure how much, so I'll just air on the side of more. And then I have some water here. And it says to mix in as a paste. I'm taking my brush that I use for masks and I'm using the butt end of it. I'm going to mix it up, see if I need more powder. Looks like I do. Can't even see what I'm doing. Sorry, folks. So let me grab a little bit more of that powder. Wipe off this end of the brush. Excuse hairline. Hairline. You know what I should do? First off, back up. Go ahead and put my hair in a band. Scoozy, scoozy. It's all right, it's all informal here. We're just, you know, putting our masks on. Skincare is sexy. So I put some more of the powder in and I'm gonna start stirring it in. Just thicken it up some. Still pretty fluid. I feel like I need a motor, motor and pestle. Science. Scrape that off. This is heavy duty stuff, okay. So I'm gonna put whatever's on my brush end onto my face. We're going to start painting this on. No scent. No scent. I wonder how it's going to feel. It's a clay mask, so I'm assuming it's going to draw out impurities. I didn't get it very thick. Because, you know, this is the first time I'm using it. It doesn't say how much to what. It said mix with a small amount of water. I'm supposed to know what a small amount of water is. So I'm just applying it over where my pores love help. <clears throat> Parched. Just scooping out the rest. And I'm sure I could have made this a thicker mask and I probably will the next time. But I've got it all over my face. No odor whatsoever. Put it on the tip of my nose. I don't feel any sensations yet, but it hasn't dried. The reason I use a brush is because I don't like to make a mess on my fingers. I'm weird. Most people are like, ooh, I like to get down and dirty with a mask. I'm like, no, not so much, not me. So I used all of that I used in the bowl. I want to say that was about a tablespoonful of powder to uh, two-thirds of a tablespoon, maybe half a tablespoon of water. So, this is supposed to... I want you to just mix a small amount with water to form a smooth paste. Apply to moisten face, neck, and chest. Avoid in the eye area. Allow mask to dry and gently remove with warm water. So, we're going to do that. I'll let it dry and let you know how long it took. Mess! I'll be back. I'm back! Fifteen minutes later and I've proved like bread. Uh, it definitely dried and I didn't feel anything. At one time I did get a small whiff of like modeling clay, which is be to be expected because it is clay. So I'm gonna go wash this off and I'll be right back. All washed. Um, it actually rinsed off really easily. Um, as I was washing it off, I again I had this visceral memory of art class in elementary school and using modeling clay to make pottery. The way the texture felt. Slightly grainy, but not like scratchy. I don't feel overly dry. My lips are a little parched. I'm looking for a chapstick. It's over here, Sam. Where'd it go? Which one am I grabbing for? We're just gonna use some Vaseline lip therapy. Classic. Been around since the 80s in this tube. 
I don't feel moisturized, but I don't feel like tight. Um, I liked that. I felt, I feel very pure and mattified. So I'm sure some of the, some of the clay is probably like, you know, so particularly in my pores. Um, I would definitely use it again. I might add something like honey to it, you know, make my own little mix of a mask. But um, for a mix your own mask, which means it won't have preservatives in it because it's a dry form of clay and there's no water there to cause bacteria. I, I really did, I dug it. Like if I moisturize now and then foundation, I feel like I would be really smooth. So yay. Moon and Sparrow. Very good. Thumbs up. Well, that's it for mask time. It ain't easy being green, but it sure is fun. I'll see you next time.